Aloha everybody, back to bring you another property tour. I'm Mike Drew Tar, principal owner and broker Next Home Paradise Realty in Kailua, Kona, Hawaii. Today I have for you a home built by a builder who builds special custom homes. So you're going to see a lot of features in this that you are not going to see in many other properties. On the outside, you might think, oh, this is a pretty standard home. But once we get inside, you're going to be blown away. I'm going to show you the inside and the outside. I'm going to tell you my three favorite things about the property at the end of the video. And the one thing I would add if this was my home. So let's get started. This is listed by Cindy Wild. She's a principal broker over at Premier Island Property. Cindy is an excellent person to work with if you're ever working with her. And I have to give her a big thanks for uh, letting me bring this one to you. So the first thing you're gonna notice is this is a 40,000 square foot lot. You have a ton of space. Now, this is a recently built home. The builder is going to, or the owner is going to concrete this in up to right where that wall is there and they're also building another home behind us they're going to wait till they're done with that home and then do all the concrete at once when we're done with heavy trucks running through here this house has four bedrooms and like i said some really special and unique custom features so let's start with one right here tell me what you see there well you see an eve you see the roof and you see the gutter coming down, but where does that come from? The gutter is actually recessed in the roof. Instead of hanging the gutter on the edge of the fascia, which is what you typically see, the fascia covers up the gutter and the gutter is built inside, dropping down. So you're looking at the fascia instead of the gutter. That's super rare right off the bat. And then you look here underneath the eaves, I think we got some better light in this direction. You see you got these wood planks that are gorgeous. Typically people will just put some T111 or some sheetrock. You won't have that in there and it looks really good. We have a nice accent right here at the entry um, with these kind of old school, it, you know, it's an older style and then they modernized it. So back in the day it would have been like a sheeter, cedar shake. Uh, I don't think those are cedar. But it's just a nice accent. It blends in really well, well with the wood on top. Recessed lighting's right here on your entry. Black double door. And we'll take a look inside and you'll see <clears throat> a number of things that are different. Now, first thing I want to showcase to you is the flooring. This was monkey pod harvested from right where this house is sitting milled and then used on the floor throughout the home so really gorgeous we're not doing any luxury vinyl flooring here we're doing some really nice stuff so that's the first thing that jumps out to you a few things to point out in this kitchen number one we've got these quartz countertops down here and check out that seam line well you can barely even see it looks really sharp We've got our KitchenAid five burner gas grill. We've got our backsplash all the way straight down to the quartz and going all the way up. Our stainless steel vent. KitchenAid also on the oven. And then checking this out. Of course, you know you're gonna have dovetail joints. You know you're gonna have soft closed doors. Um, looks great. And I like the black accents that they did here. Um, coming out a little bit, that's a, there's a couple times here where the color is popping sort of reddish on camera, but it's not. It's definitely a brown. Um, nice work on the cabinets. I think we're looking at 42 inches on there. And then we have this LG on the refrigerator. And I like that you have the uh, ability to see right through here what's inside. So that's going to save me a lot of time because I open the refrigerator and just look at it and then close it. So this takes that away. So kind of nice on that. Our water dispenser, freezer drawer down below. We got a little butler's pantry right here. I like how they have this set up. And of course countertop, drawer, nice shelving. And they have the microwave and a few other 
appliances. I like it keeping it in here declutters the kitchen. Um, so that's something I like a lot. We have our beverage cooler. Really nice job on that. We got KitchenAid on the dishwasher. And I like that we have our integrated rubbish with recycling and trash. We have a large sink, dual basin with the, uh, you like these sorts of faucets that we have here, very contemporary. And then just massive view out to Kailua Kona Town, right into Kailua Bay. I like how they have that set up right here in the kitchen, taking advantage of that. You see they ran that tile backsplash all the way around. All the way through and down to there. So really excellent, excellent job on the kitchen here. Really, I really dig what they've done on this. Here in the living room, you're gonna see a pretty neat ceiling treatment. I like how they did a nice job with those LED lights recessed in there. Now, I'll tell you something about this house that you're not gonna notice. This house has central air conditioning. And you tell me where the vents are. I'm gonna let you think about that and I'm gonna tell you when I come back in this room. You think you know where the vents are? Let me know down in the comments. We got good size here. You have a lot of things you can do with this space. I really like it. Let's kind of take it back here from the front door. You have your slider looking out. I know it's kind of blown out on camera right now, but we'll get to see that. You can see the view. You have a lot of living space over here. Uh, you could do even more over here, make this a second little uh, seating area, a reading area, a conversation space. Uh, really great. We have our solar hot water heater, massive washer, dryer, utility sink, access out to the garage. 42-inch cabinets here on top, quartz countertops, and more cabinets down below. Excellent job for a utility. And then just all this space here. And then let's come around the corner. We have our powder room. And then to the owner's suite. So light and bright. These giant, uh, this giant slider and the big windows on either side of the slider really make you feel like you're bringing the outside inside. And then the lightness with the wood on the bed, the generally light tones that we have with the monkey pod flooring, the light tones that we have up here in the ceiling treatment, got our propeller style ceiling fan, recessed lighting. And these are excellent windows. I'm gonna show you the hardware here really quick. This is super solid stuff. You're not finding this on the floor at Lowe's. Can assure you of that. And that goes out to our outside lanai area. I'll bring that to you in a second. And then coming in here to the bathroom. So there's a lot of space in here. The, the bathroom closet area is bigger than the bedroom. Um, a ton of space. So you got your dual vanity sink. And check out that, check out that mirror with the light in it. That is sexy. And then they got the hanging pendant lights on either side. We got those same cabinets, same countertops that we had in the kitchen. Turning here to our left, we have our water closet. Got a door right there. And then a zero threshold entry into your shower with dual heads tiled all the way up to the top. Excellent job on that. We're looking at 12 by 24 inch horizontally placed tiles. It looks really sharp. And I like what they're doing on these homes now. They're hiding the drain in that nice little spot right there. It's just, uh, you know, the big round drain that you'd have at the end is just kind of unsightly in my opinion. So having that is really nice. And again, I like that they have, we've seen this on some of our higher end homes. Uh, I don't like it if you're gonna pay a lot for a home having your shower controls right below the shower so you turn it on, you get that wonderful refreshing blast of ice cold water hitting you. Put my shower controls out there, let it warm up and then work your way in. The closet, I'm gonna blur out the owner's personal belongings right here, is really good size. I would bring in uh, maybe California closets or someone like that to finish this off and do it custom for you, depending on how you want to do it. Different people have different needs when it comes to closets. Those are really kind of some personal choices depending on how you dress. You know, my wife always tells me you have to have room for things to hang. 
Of course, I don't need like room for that, but she does. So it just depends on the buyer. And then, this is the most Kona thing ever. You gotta have the awesome outdoor shower. We have our shower head right there. Really nice job. A lot of times these guys will just come in here and put copper and some basic faucet sink things in here. This is actually a really nice setup with the hardware fixture that they have. And so we have a shower inside. We have, with dual heads, we have this shower here. And, ta-da, we also have this wonderfully deep soaking tub. Excellent job on that. So we have a gate going out that way and another one over here. Down below we have some large format tiles. These look to be about two foot by four foot. Really great. And one other thing I want to bring your attention to, uh, a little detail on this. Look how they, they did it with dowels, how they put everything together. That's attention to detail that you get when you're buying a home from someone who builds homes and builds high-end custom homes. Those dowels, that's, that's really nice. Gives it a really slick, clean look. So this is our first bedroom. We still have three other bedrooms. Now, I asked you a moment ago, where were the vents for the central AC system? I wonder if you figured it out yet. I didn't. Cindy had to tell me. The vents for the AC are up in that recess right there. So you don't have those big old registers, you know, the vents coming out that would kind of draw your eye to it. That's, that's an upgrade. That is really slick. That's an incredible amount of attention to detail. Um, you're not gonna see that on a lot of homes. You're starting to see how this house is built differently from most uh, other homes that we bring you. In here, this isn't even the owner's suite and look how massive this thing is. Nice, good setup again. Large slider looking out to this beautiful, massive lawn. We got our ocean view out there. So we have an Eastern King here. We got another eight feet from the foot of the bed. We got about five or six feet on either side of the bed. This is a really good size bedroom. Looking at, it looks like five inch baseboards and five inch trim around the door. And a massive, massive closet. Good space on that. That's a secondary bedroom with a closet that large. Coming down a little bit further. I guess this would be bedroom three. Yep. Again, we have that excellent ceiling, ceiling treatment, recessed lights. We're looking at nine foot high ceilings before we get the ceiling treatment in here. Monkey pod all the way through. Looks like we got a California King bed here. Maybe a queen, I think it's a California King though. Plenty of room on either side. Again, eight feet from the foot of the bed to the end. House is available furnished for the right offer. And another massive closet. And then finally, we have what's being used. You can convert this, I think have to do something for the closet but they're using it for an office you could convert this from an office workout room if you needed to I would probably well I know what would happen I would be told this would be a yoga slash workout room and I think that's a good idea and then we have our bath bathroom for this side of the house for these bedrooms right here excellent storage See the same countertop, same cabinets that we've seen before. We've seen the same 12 by 24 inch horizontally placed tile that we see in the rest of the house. Everything matches all the way up to the ceiling. I like how they've done a good job using these black fixtures throughout the home. If you're gonna use it on the doorknobs, you need to use it on the strike plates. You need to use it on the faucets. You need to use it on the handles. Uh, you need to use it on the trim around the mirror. You need to use it on the handles of your cabinets. You need to make sure to use it all these little details right here so that the home everything you see looks like it belongs excellent excellent job on that so tons of attention to detail on this one pulling up a quick look here on the outside so that's that outdoor shower that we had from the owner suite and you see we got a lot of rock wall work over here and excellent covered lanai 
I love this stone slate looking tile. This is 24 inches by 24 inches with tight grout lines. Check that out. Nice and sharp. Attention to detail. We're not sheetrocking in here. We're putting that wood in. A couple fire pits. I like that. This is a great little area to hang out and enjoy the afternoon. Beautiful monkey pod tree. And then here's that ocean view that I know you all love. Excellent, excellent home. Really like a lot of the attention to detail. Okay, what are my three favorite things about the home? Boy, that's gonna be tough. How do I do it in just three? The first thing is going to have to be the monkey pod floors. I really think it's a striking look. It's something that's not common. Shows an attention to detail. Um, Handcrafted wood floor planks uh, all laid individually are pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, so that's my number one favorite thing about the house. The number two favorite thing is going to be over here at that outside shower. Take a peek over. I love that it has a large soaking tub, a really well done shower fixture. Actually, you know, I'm instead of the outside shower, I'm gonna say the entire owner's bathroom area. Both the zero threshold shower with the dual shower heads, uh, the large closet, uh, the outdoor shower, oh, yeah. that entire thing is really really awesome and then my third favorite thing is the thing you can't see because it's so rare to see it here it's the gutters that are integrated into the roof um i know that's a little thing uh but i, I really dig it quite a bit um the one thing i would add hmm you know i think i would put a pool in this one i don't know that i'd put it right here I kind of like putting it down below and have a large lagoon style pool. Maybe right over there. That's the only thing that I think I would add to this property. Uh, wonderfully done, particularly inside, is truly uh, a special one. Something that we don't see very often. All right guys, I hope you like this video. Click like and subscribe and I'll see you again real soon.